What's up guys, welcome to your fourth Android tutorial, the finishing touches uh, lesson. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get our ID that we're going to need for our XML layout that we set up in the last tutorial. And basically the ID is going to give you um, kind of a reference to your own personalized AdMob account where you get paid and all that good stuff. So we're going to set that up and then I'm also going to talk through some pretty important stuff that you guys might be struggling with and kind of do an overview of everything that we've done just in case if you guys are still having problems so again I want you guys to go to admob.com log into your account go up to this marketplace uh, tab right here and then sites and apps tab right here now I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom of this page I'm gonna skip over my earnings and stuff because that's probably against the terms to show you guys that and right down here um, we have our all of our applications that we want to have ads on and your status should be red right here mine's green because I already set it up just because it's gonna save me some time at the end I'll talk you talk to you about that as well but uh, we're gonna hover over our basically our application go to manage settings and right here again I'm gonna put a block or something right here um, here's your publisher ID you guys want to copy this publisher ID um, and I'm just gonna copy that and over here that we're going to go back into Eclipse under our add unit ID this is where we're going to set it up I'm just going to make up one for the most part it's going to look something like this who knows what um, it looks like but an important thing is if you guys copy and paste what you should do if there's like a space or anything you want to get rid of that space so that's one important key thing um, and make sure there's no spaces and it's again matches your ID that you guys set up a few tutorials ago and we're basically done uh, the thing I want to show you guys though real quick is if we go into graphical layout here's kind of our ad and I'm on the 2.2 platform again we developed for the API level of 8 when we set up our project but uh, as you can see we're getting this error parser is not a bridge XML block parser here it can't really uh, start up our whoops can't really start up our ad view class that it's looking for but uh, that's just a problem with the 2.2 platform and the AdMob SDK that we downloaded. It's not your guys' fault. There's nothing we can do to fix it until they update the SDK for AdMob. And again, that that's only for the 2.2 platform. I want to show you guys over here. I set up just a new project and a new XML file. Basically, everything we've done. And I'll show you what it'll look like if you're del developing for like a 2.3 platform. It gives you a nice kind of layout of how much space your ad's going to take, um, and it'll look like that. But again, for the 2.2 platform, it's all messed up. It's trying to like send a text view or something, so that's why we're getting this error. Um, it won't mess up your ads or anything, as I'll show you. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste my real ID over into the XML because otherwise it's not going to work. So I just copied and pasted my real ID. Alright, so we're just going to start our application and I'll show you guys how it looks, make sure everything's working right. And, uh, you know, alright, let's see here. Do we not set up the ad size? Alright, if we forgot, I thought I did for some reason. We also need to set up the ad size, so I'm going to go into the XML again. This isn't my real code, again, I just kind of copied it or messed around with this as well so that's not my actual ID or anything um, but we need to set up the ad size so we're gonna say ads ad size like this and we're gonna set this equal to all uppercase banner so there we go alright so now I'm gonna copy and paste my real ad uh, ID and start up the application again make sure it works this time alright let's see if this works it's bad boy alright as you can see we got an ad now you guys it might take a little bit for you guys to get your ad to pop up generally they say it takes about two minutes the first time you start your activity first time it gets called the ad mob they check out make sure your ID is legit uh, and you set up a project for ad mob and then it'll load up your your um, you know your ad so that's what kind of why I, my status was green earlier when I showed you that ad mob site because I set it up because I didn't want to wait two minutes but let's talk over again real quickly. Um, actually, I'm going to change my ID and then I'll talk over everything that we've done to make sure you guys are caught up. 
All right, so let's go over thing, everything real quickly again. Uh, if you guys are still having problems, so we set up a new, you know, a new project, or this is our old project, and we set up this reference library, the AdMob SDK. So you download that, and then you, uh, you know, add the external jar, and then what we need to do is go into the manifest, and we have to have two permissions: our access network state and our access internet. So we added those. Then we had to add this activity. Um, again, the Google or you guys have to type this out verbatim com.google.ads.addActivity and then the configuration and then what we did is we went and defined it within an XML layout and we had to add this basically this path to our main linear layout so we could use the ads within this linear layout again that has to be verbatim as well and then we set up our ad down here by defining what we wanted to add which was our jar and a class called add view and uh, you know we added an ID reference we wrapped the content for the height and the width we got our ID from the ad mob website set the banner size or set the size to banner in all uppercase which I forgot to do in the last tutorial apparently we also said um, on create to true so when our um, activity which was menu referenced this within the set content view it's going to start and refresh our ad so it's going to get a new ad update so that's basically the end of the tutorial if you guys want to set up a button that refreshes your ad or something basically all you need to do is say add view um, which is the type and we're going to call this add um, and import add view and then we're just going to say within parentheses add view find view by ID and also guys uh, if you guys are still watching hopefully you are you can't do ad mob with like a 1.5 or 1.6 platform I believe it has to be the 2.0 and up platform um, or you know API level of whatever that is like 6 or higher or something like that so yeah you might want to keep that in mind as well then what we can do is say add and then dot load add and uh, you know we need to set up a new add request so we're going to say add request like that with parentheses and then we have to import add request as well which is add request like that my, my bad capital A and capital R then import add request and basically that will kind of refresh your ad um, so you guys can put that within a button or something um, or whatever you where, wherever you want to refresh your ad so hopefully that's kind of a quick overview of ad mob they've changed kind of the how to do it with this new updated SDK which you know is messed up for the 2.2 platform but it's no biggie as long as you guys kind of think of how you want to place your ad you'll be fine and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where I'm gonna show you guys how to put your application on the marketplace get that going so have a good one